So, let's continue with our adventure. It's not too late, I think, in real life. So now, instead of the detective, I am a doctor or something like that. This is very, very unresting. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, the smell. Tissue. Tissue. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. Wow. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Wow, you like it, huh? Sticky. <laughs> Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. A foreign so, doctor, body? An opinion? Someone I'm not put, sure I have put something inside of me? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Somebody put a big black thing inside of him. Uh, okay, dehydrated looks like the least compromising one. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. Yes, because he's got something very huge inside of him. Okay. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Yes. It is a uh, sexual transmission, whatever. Like HIV. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. He has eaten Can't from behind. Can you recognize an edema? <laughs> Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. Reverse, reverse look eating. At these bumps. It's called. <laughs> It's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Yeah, he's a liar and he is a rapist. And he has been abusing this poor guy <laughs> for months. Probably with some bondage. So he is becoming a woman. <laughs> He's a transgender. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cogden. You are the culprit. I know what you're doing to my patient. Dr. Nazi, you are the culprit. How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your Shut up. insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients, provide him with the best available care. 
Yes. Your imagination is without limit. It's you your homemade right. drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Are you Dr. Mengele? Okay, I'm gonna go straight forward. You're a fucking monster. And turning him into a one. I've seen suction cups on his fingers. His falling body temperature. His dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of... an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Gallem. Gallem. Be more precise. Cephalopod, Gallem. perhaps. Gallem. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Yeah. Was that a I threat? I know who you are. What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? We can kill him. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. I hope you do. Otherwise, I will kill you. Eh? I'm crazy. I'm a crazy doctor. I'm a crazy doctor and I am armed with a scalpel. You know what I mean? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. Are you complaining? What? Hay fever. What's he doing here? Who are you? His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Holy shit. He's, got, he's having a, a heart attack. Okay. Why I cannot move? Hello? Hey. You. Ah, okay. Nurse? Deborah, Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with Give him insulin, bananas. calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Giving bananas. All the Could patients. this have been avoided? Huh? What? Hey. What happened? He took away a breast of this woman for his collection. Mrs. Sanders? Oh, God! You look like a doll. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? 
The bootleggers? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Yeah, somebody broke your your neck. I'll just sleep a bit more. Okay. Take a rest, soldier. What's up with you? You're okay? Good. Huh? She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. What is here? Ah, the autopsy, okay. So I'm not going to be so indiscreet to go directly to the to the office of this Nazi. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. What do you want to examine exactly? This part? Hmm? His binds left bloody wounds. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Yeah. Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. <laughs> Good job making friends. Now she's going to go to the doctor and explain that I have been rude. Aren't you? Yes, you are. What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Not Take it. where I expected to find it. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Why don't you take it? Okay. You have very ugly feet. Are you a hobbit? Are you Gollum? Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... You are too lazy to study something, huh? Dr. Colden. Yes, that's me. Thank you. Who are you? Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. All I'll right, attend to it. Don't worry. Where is it? Take me. Dr. Take me there. Those people need you at the dormitory. What is the situation? What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. 
Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay, bitch. What do you want, sir? What's what's your what's your business here, mister? Who are you? And you? You wanna... <laughs> hmm? Yeah? Forget about it, administration. Boiler room. I don't have any business in the boiler room. But I just found the key, so what? Let's hope I can go through the administration office. music I'm lost already and I'm the one who pays what a pest it's so unfair Elizabeth you all right why is this room in such a state because as always I'm cleaning it by myself and the water was once again shut off this morning I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Hey Come there. now, don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor, I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. What is this, the latrine? Ah, this is a... <laughs> this is a Turkish sauna. Cool. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Okay. okay. I saw all these patients already. Hmm? Okay. Take the fucking key. Stupid bitch. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. You need to go there, but you don't dare to take the key, so what? What is the purpose of all this? Eh? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? What medication? Uh, 
Spotlight. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. What do you I don't want? get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. You look like a drunk and drug addict. Go home. Why are you? Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Yeah, sure. You're a bitch. What is this? Administration, not this administration. Okay, who are you? Talk to me. Ah, yeah, we talked already. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Okay. Let's go. I don't care. I'm crazy. Please. The fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. I just wanted to close the door, bitch. Surgical work. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. What is this fucking guy here? Storage room. This is very suspicious. Lock the door, please. Lock the door, please. Thank you. Lock the door. You're going. Ooh. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Fuck you, bitch. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do.
Are you Donovan? So, I need to cut the water. And I need to go to the boiler room. Let's hope I can go through the administration. And I know where is the key. But I don't I cannot take it. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting, very useful information. Thank you for making a whole room just to communicate this. That's a very nice detail. Ah, and also the doors open and close both sides. Amazing technology. This is amazing. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. Okay, hey, gentlemen, what? may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Hippocratic Oath. Who are you? Watch out for the water, Doctor. Yeah. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait to see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Fucking bitch. I know what to do now. You are not this bitch. You're a different one. Who are you? Why there are multiple copies of you? This is getting too complicated for me. Okay, I cut here. Until the next one. Which is in a few seconds.